so th this is my story and uh, and everybody have a different story but sure. um, high school man I was I was one of the best high school football players in my city um so I was like a, I was on the news um you know highlight reels um so then uh when I got to college I went to division three school and um I thought that it was going to be a, a piece of cake Sure. So, you know, I'm a superstar in high school, so I go D3, and I'm like, oh, it's D3. Like, No big deal, no right? No big deal. Yeah. And uh, I show up to football camp, and I'm looking, I'm like, man, all these guys are D3, man. And um, so it was kind of like a humbling experience to go from high school to college because, um, like I said, in high school, I was the most valuable player. I was the team captain. So I kind of had to start from the bottom. Um, but actually, it made me better, I guess you could say. Um, sure. Just starting from the beginning, uh, grinding, working my way up through the ranks, uh, working into the starting lineup again. Um, and then when I got to, like I said, when I, um, it was my sophomore year, I was on the field and I, I tore my ACL and I tried to come back after that injury, um, but it, it's, it, it just didn't happen, man. Um, my speed wasn't there, my reaction time wasn't there. Um, and then it, it really was not that much downtime because I made a decision pretty quick. Um, as soon as that happened and I, and I knew I wasn't able to come back, I probably uh, lasted about two more games. And I realized I was like, man, I'm just another number now, you know, like I'm not who mm -hmm. I was before. And, and the coaching staff, you know, they started changing a little bit. And, you know, and and I wasn't the Daryl that I was previously before the injury. And um, so I said, you know what, look, it's time to move on. I got to I got to find a career. You know, I got to, you know make money. I'm in college. I need money. I got to pay bills. So um, sure. I tried to get back into the automotive industry. Um, pretty, it was a quick decision. It wasn't too long. To, well, I'll to tell you. Make it. Hello, everybody. Here's a quick word for you all. We know electric vehicles are increasing around the nation, actually around the world. The question we ask ourselves is, are we to fear the EV adoption and what it'll do to fixed operations? So we decided not to speculate, but to gather real data to see how electric vehicles will affect and change fixed operations in the future. Our service department is going to remain the profit center in the future. Find out at NADA 2023 in our workshop how electric vehicles will change fixed operations. We look forward to seeing you there.